y'all welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new and welcome to another what's for dinner today i'm sharing three easy meals with you two of them are crock pot meals you know they are my favorite so i'm going to share those two first and then the third meal is so funny it's just a meal that i did out on a limb but it turned out really good and we all loved it so i'm going to share that with you too so make sure you stay tuned for that also what i know a lot of you if you've been around for a while have been waiting for forever I want to introduce y'all to someone special. Okay, so tonight I'm super excited because we are having meatloaf in the crock pot. Now, I will say I don't make it in the crock pot often, so this is like a once in a every now and then thing. So we're kind of gonna be learning as we go because there's always too much time in between since I've made it last. But we're gonna make it work. And I've actually never used this meatloaf seasoning before, but I found it at Walmart and I said, let's give it a try. So we're gonna add this in. I've never added it before. So anyways, let me show you what we're gonna need. Besides that, we've got two pounds of ground beef. We've got two large eggs. We've got some minced garlic. You can pick any barbecue sauce of your choice. I got this one from Target. It's the honey pecan wood smoked and then i have some breadcrumbs you won't need a lot this one's almost empty so i grabbed that one out of my pantry you'll need just a little bit of milk and you can choose your dairy free milk option if you want to it will still work fine for this recipe and then also we will need aluminum foil and you'll find out why i almost forgot you're gonna need onion powder and garlic powder and that's only because I use it in almost everything I cook. So just keep that in mind. Even if I don't mention it, I probably sprinkle it a little bit. Okay, the first thing is you're gonna add your two pounds of ground beef to a good size bowl. And I would mix it up just a little bit first before you add any of your spices or other ingredients. All right, the next thing we're gonna add is two eggs. And I'm not so sure Alex is the happiest about this one, but he loves meatloaf. It's like his favorite meal of life. So we will get it done. Switch hands, take the broken one. Yes. Now wait, y'all get to see him mix these eggs together. Oh, I'm glad you're doing that and not me. <laughs> oh my gosh. I cannot, but this kind of thickens it up and makes it stick together in the crock pot. So this is like a step I would not skip out on. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my minced garlic and I'm going to put in about two teaspoons. Okay, next in our bowl, our mixture, we're gonna add in this meatloaf seasoning. Like I said, I've never used it before, so I hope it's good. It smells really, really good. I'm gonna hand Alex the package and let him smell it. It does smell pretty good. Oh, look at Alex talking over here. Okay, so you're actually supposed to use about three fourth cup of breadcrumbs, and this is probably about a whole cup, but I'm actually gonna add some of our glaze to this recipe, so it's gonna need more breadcrumbs anyway, so I'm just gonna add the whole thing. Okay, so next up, you're gonna need about a half a cup of milk. And of course, like I said, we will be adding in the onion powder as usual. And we can't make anything without garlic powder, y'all already know. That is a concoction, y'all. We love concoctions around here and they always turn out good, especially Alex's. So anyway, one more ingredient. We're gonna add a little bit of our glaze to the meatloaf mixture. So that's what's gonna be different about this recipe. Okay, so we're contemplating between like a third or a half. What do you think? Two and a half. Half? So he wants to put half the bottle in here. That's good. That's good, he said. Oh yeah, we have plenty left for our glaze and our glaze will actually go in the oven to broil at the very end and I'll show you guys that. Now it's time to move over to the crock pot. We are gonna make like a little mini loaf pan with aluminum foil to go inside of our crock pot. How cool is that? Let's find out. Okay, 
this is our little loaf pan that we made out of aluminum foil. I'm gonna get Alex to spray the crock pot for me, like inside of here, just so nothing sticks. It doesn't say that I have to spray it in the recipe, but we're gonna do it anyway. I spray everything, so. We're gonna add this to it. Doesn't this look much better of a loaf after we added the extra breadcrumbs? I'm gonna get Alex to do that because he's doing all of the messy hard work today, but he's doing a great job. What do y'all think? And y'all got to meet him today. Look how good that looks. That's like perfect. Chef Alex, I'm telling y'all, Alex cooks so good. He comes up with these concoctions, like I was telling y'all, really late at night, and they're always good. All right, so that is our little loaf we made. It looks perfect, it looks delicious, it smells delicious. This is our leftover glaze. We will come back to show you how to do that in just a few hours. We are gonna cook ours on high because we're super hungry and it's way past dinner time. We're gonna cook it on high for about three hours. If you are cooking all day while you're at work, you would just wanna cook it on low for six hours. But I will be back to show you guys what it looks like. All right, we're gonna take a little peek at it. We have 30 minutes left. Like I said, I was cooking it on high. Ooh, it's looking good. So I'm hoping at the 30 minutes mark, it will dry out just a little bit more. I'll add the glaze on it, and then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. All right, now we have to take the step of moving this out of the crock pot on to our baking sheet so we can put it into the oven and broil it. And I'll show you what we do after that. Look at him, Alex is a pro at this. Look at our little, what is this called? Meatloaf. I know, but what's it called? A um, bread pan? Loaf pan, loaf pan. This is our little loaf pan we made. All right, we have it on broil right now, waiting for it to get a little bit hot. Alex is adding in the glaze on top. And you're going to broil this in your oven for about three to four minutes. Definitely check on it frequently because y'all know when it comes to broiling how it can be, but you wanna broil it until the glaze on top is a little bit sticky. All right, so like I said, you can use any barbecue sauce. We only used about two thirds of this entire jar between putting some in the meatloaf and then on top as a glaze. So now we're about to stick it in the oven. All right, it looks like it's about ready to come out of the oven. The glaze is looking nice and sticky. Alice is gonna get it out for us. Oh my gosh. It's going to be so good. Yes, you see that little slit in the middle? We had to cut a slit in it to make sure that it was fully cooked because our meat thermometer has not been working. So we ordered a new one on Amazon that had really good reviews. I will link it below for you guys so you can try it. But oh my gosh, a meatloaf in the crock pot, it's so easy. All right, so here is Alex's plate of a meatloaf right here. You could pair this with green beans, or what else would you say that you would make? Of course, mashed potatoes. I know a lot of people eat mashed potatoes with meatloaf, but mm. corn, mm. whatever you want, french fries if you want to, but mainly like mashed potatoes and green beans is what I would pair with this, but look how freaking delicious. All right, so I just told y'all that I wanted to, after all these years, introduce y'all to someone special. He's very special. Well, he's actually out here in the garage now organizing my things because he has this shop. He keeps, I don't even know what's in that thing. I couldn't tell you what any of that stuff's called that he has, but he's out here organizing. We just got a new shelf for like my food shortage stock. I have a video coming for that soon. The person we've all been waiting for. Here he is. Hello fellas and gals. <laughs> he said hello fellas and gals. That's why he doesn't like the camera. But this is Alex, this is my husband. He is, he has never ever shown his face on my channel before. He's been in my videos a little bit, but you've only seen him from behind. There's pictures of us on Instagram and stuff like that, but I just thought that would be fun to share. So anyway, let's get to the main reason you came to this video. Okay guys, so today I'm sharing with you my slow cooker chicken and stuffing. I think I've made this on my channel before, maybe last year, and I'm always changing up the ingredients so just to fit my needs and my family's needs. So if this is a little different than last year, that is why, but I've had so many people message me and ask for this recipe, so I figured I'd go ahead and stick it in another video. It's so delicious. Also, I'm hanging on to every last thread of Halloween that I have with my little black cat cup. 
So got my coffee, let's get started. Okay, so the only thing you're gonna need for this recipe is some chicken broth. I just have this spray out to spray to the bottom. I always like to spray so it won't stick. I wanna start using coconut oil. Let me know if you guys have tried that. And then also three chicken breasts, some cream of a chicken, chicken stuffing mix. You can also use cornbread stuffing mix, whatever you wanna use. They have turkey stuffing mix. I'm just gonna use the chicken. And then I forgot to get the milk out a minute ago, but you will need some milk as well. All right, so to start, I'm gonna go ahead and spray my crock pot all around. I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken breast. All right, make sure you wash your hands really good. And we are going to add one can of cream of chicken to this bowl right here. All right, after you have all of your cream of chicken in the bowl, you're gonna go ahead and take one third cup of milk and pour it into the bowl and whisk all of that together. And this is about the consistency you're gonna want. It thins it out a little bit, but it also makes it really smooth, the milk does. And once you get to this point, it's time to pour it over the chicken and spread it as best as possible. That will spread it out real good and evenly. All right, I'm hoping I have enough chicken broth in this one container, but I'm thinking I may have to open the other one so I got another one out. But we just need one and two thirds cup of chicken broth. Oh, it's gonna be close, it's gonna be close, it's gonna be close, what do y'all think? We gotta get to our two-third mark. Can we do it? Can we do it perfectly? Wow, this is coming out a lot slower than I envisioned. There we go. Is that good? Let me get eye level. Oh, that's a little low, let's add another dab. What about that? Yes, hunty. All right, so this is when the stuffing comes in. We're gonna pour that in the bowl and the chicken broth in the bowl and mix it all together and I'll show you what we do next. Mix it all together. I know y'all are probably thinking, this is like the simplest recipe of life. Yes, it is. Wait until you find out we're almost done. All right, once we have all of our stuffing mix all mixed together, I don't mix it too good because honestly, I like my stuffing to be a little bit crusty. All you're gonna do is scoop it, don't spill it like me, and layer it on top of your chicken. All right, would you believe me if I told you we were completely done with prepping? Well, believe me, because it's true. So all you have to do now is you are gonna cook it on low for six hours, check on it occasionally, and you will be ready for a yummy dinner come dinner time or whenever you wanna make this. This is really good for a Sunday lunch. Six hours, a total of like three minutes of prep time it took me longer because I was filming it, but so easy and delicious. All right, we have Little Mermaid playing in the background. Y'all can probably hear. This is about four hours in. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. So we are going to check and see if it's done now. I'm hoping it is because I am super duper hungry. I don't know about y'all. All right, let's see how the chicken is looking. I'm thinking about just like slicing me off some. That's what I usually do. Oh yeah, it looks done. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna put it on my plate. You can have this with like green beans or I don't know. I can't remember what we usually make with this. I'm actually just making this by itself tonight because me and the girls were craving it and Alex is not home. So I figured why the heck not? And it looks so delicious. All right, so I know it's kind of dark in here, but I've made it into the living room. If y'all watch all of my videos, my shopping videos, y'all know. If you know, you know, you know about the butter cookies. 
I'm having a Dr. Pepper today. I've been doing really good drinking water this week, just in my Bubba cup with ice. I'm so sorry it's dark, but I'm gonna try about this delicious chicken and stuffing. All right, it's dinner time, finally. I didn't even cut this up because I didn't figure. I, I probably need a napkin, but you know. What time is it? We're having kind of, what time is it, Ansley? So we're kind of having an early dinner today, which I'm okay with. Alex is not home from work yet, but he wouldn't be home in time for dinner anyway tonight. So I just made this and now I'm eating with my hands halfway, but. Oh my gosh. Y'all, this is so easy, but so good. You must make, you must make it. I need to make it again, maybe tomorrow. Y'all, this is serious right now. I'm making the greatest concoction of life. I didn't want to cook dinner. And then I was like, I just, I can make something super random and quick. And I got this from Target today, actually. And I have this Auntie Nono seafood seasoning I haven't used yet. I want to try it. So I figured I could sprinkle it. Even though seafood, I'm going to sprinkle it on some of this chicken. I'm going to mix it with the noodles. We're gonna see how it comes out. What do y'all think? Okay, so I am going to put this on low. Don't mind the messy stove. And then I'm gonna drizzle just, I don't know. Oh, that's a lot. Maybe that much olive oil in the bottom of my pan. We're gonna go to the chicken. And y'all, this is seriously a concoction. This chicken is frozen. I, I don't know how this is gonna turn out. Hopefully I'll have a piece for one more piece of chicken, yes, this will fit. Somehow, some way. Okay, so we got it in there. We're gonna let it cook, we'll flip it. I'll add some seasoning shortly. I'll probably put some of this in here. I'm gonna go ahead and boil the noodles. We're gonna add it all together and we're gonna see how it turns out. I'm gonna bring y'all with me. Oh yes, I was gonna say, I love like creating, making concoctions. Alex is the same way. He loves to take any kind of meat or sauces or pastas or anything we have that you can mix with anything. He likes to take it just like I do, mix it together, kind of create our own thing. I don't know, do y'all ever do stuff like that? Anyway, that's what I'm doing today. We do this all the time. We're gonna see how it turns out together. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some anti nonos and some salt and pepper. Even though it's frozen, it's still wet, so it will stick and then I'll flip it over and we'll get the other side. Anyway, we're gonna let this simmer do its thing. I'm probably gonna turn it up on medium. All right, while I'm waiting on the water to boil, I'm gonna go ahead and turn these over. So over on this side, I'm also going to put some of the anti no, -no seafood seasoning. So my friend Mandy told me that you can pretty much use this seafood seasoning on everything and by the smell of it and the little taste I've got so far just now, I feel like this is like gonna be one of my favorites. So anyway, we're gonna sprinkle some on the back of here and then more salt and pepper. All right, we're not quite boiling over here, but I need to go ahead and get some other stuff done around the kitchen. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in now. I'm just gonna push these down and get them into the water real good. And of course, I'll come over here and stir it with my little, what are these things called? I can't even think of the name of these right now. I'm gonna flip these over with my little um, spatula too, but don't worry guys. There are two different ones in case anybody, you know, gets a little upset over that. Cause you know, people get very personal over stuff on like cooking videos I've learned. like. People are passionate about certain things when it involves cooking, and it's very controversial in my opinion. So it's like, okay, here, let me show you this, but let me know your thoughts on that. Do you feel the same way, or do you just feel like me? You should be able to cook how you want to cook as long as it suits your family, you know? Okay, I'm gonna drain this, of course, and then I need to shred up the chicken somehow. I don't know if I want to drain it and then shred it in this pot, like by, you know, just with two forks, old school way. I could do it the fast way and use a hand mixer, but I don't wanna get all that out. 
And then should I put it in this pot or this pot? Like, you know, when I'm done. Each pot has a lid, so we're good there. I don't know where the lid is, it's over there. So anyway, I wish y'all were here to tell me live. chicken and I'm about to dump it into the pot the skillet the pan and let me turn the heat back off remember we still have this sesame teriyaki sauce I actually got this from Target if you were wondering that we have to add into there and there but I'm gonna put the noodles in first I'm not gonna dump them because I don't know how much I'm gonna want sometimes there's a little too much pasta We're gonna do the sauce before we add any more noodles because we wanna make sure that the consistency is right. And I do have it on low simmering. I don't know if I said that or not. I'm going to mix it up just a little bit. Sesame teriyaki, like what kind of concoction is this? And I put anti nono se seasoning on it and I'm actually gonna add some to the top as well to kind of add into here along with a little bit more salt and pepper, but a lot of anti no nos because a lot of anti no nos is what every dish needs. So, there we go. I think that's enough noodles for sure. I mean, I could have chopped them up a little bit better, but I was getting kind of lazy and this was a lazy meal anyway. So, let's do a little taste test for you guys. This is mainly for the girls and Alex, but I'm gonna taste test it anyway. Okay, so like I said, this is mainly for Alex and the girls, but I'm still gonna try it. I got salt, well, I added salt and pepper on it afterwards, and then I got about three pieces of chicken. I got some ramen in there, and hopefully it's good. So I'm gonna try just a piece of chicken by itself first, because that means a lot. If you ever go out to eat and you definitely try the meat first without anything else. All right, that was pretty good and flavorful and tender and then you've got the noodles they're very i don't know moist i know a lot of people don't like that word but they look good so the noodles are great i'm gonna try the chicken and the noodles together i think it is very 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 good i feel like it could have used less sauce or less noodles I could have made a smaller portion somehow, some way. But if you take a bite of just the noodles, there's like a lot of excess moist. Like I said, it's very moist. But overall, like it's really, really good. It would, I mean, my girls are over there like fixing their plates now. So I'm telling you, it looks good, don't it? All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you loved it. If you did, subscribe. I share a what's for dinner video on my channel every single Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern. So turn on the notifications so you don't miss a video and there'll be lots of yummy recipes coming this winter. So I hope you'll stick around and subscribe and join our little family over here. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.